Well, this weekend, one of the biggest fundraisers for breast cancer research and awareness comes to Detroit. It's the Susan G. Komen Detroit Race for the Cure. It takes place this Saturday at Sham Park. And joining me this morning to talk about how important this event is, is race chair Katrina Stunvet and also co-chair Brian Christie. Thank you both so much for being with us. And I should say that Channel 7 is very proud to be a part of this event. We have a team every single year. How many people do you usually participate? Well, we expect a crowd of 30,000 at Shane Park on Saturday, and we're That's hoping incredible. that additional people who see this broadcast will yeah. come on down and join us. You can register right there on race day. That's fantastic. So, Brian, um, for people who haven't registered yet, mm -hmm. they still can write in person, or can they go online, too? That's exactly it. Yeah, they can go online right now. It's carmanuscancer.org slash Coman Detroit. All the links are there, and, yeah, they can register on race day morning starting at 7 a.m. Love to have everybody in the area come on out. Now, when you talk about fundraising, how much money are, are you expecting to raise or hoping oh, to raise? We're hoping to raise $2 million. The need here in Metro Detroit is so great. 75% of what we raise stay local. The other 25% goes towards national research. Oh. And a lot of those dollars come back because we have great scientists right here in Detroit. That's fantastic. So the money that stays here, what specifically is it spent on? Oh, absolutely. It's spent on awareness, mm -hmm. education, screening, as mm -hmm. well as treatment. So all those Wonderful. key areas, you know, the woman who doesn't have insurance can get a mammogram because of many programs like the Wayne and Breast and Cervical Cancer Control Program. It's literally so. life-saving. Life-saving, absolutely. absolutely. Brian, how long have you been a part of it? I'm new actually this year. I'm the new co-chair. I started this past January, so this is my first race, which I'm really thrilled Way to at. go. Yes, to go. Uh, I'm so happy to be part of the team, and it's affected me personally. Uh, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer back in summer of 2013 mm -hmm. and passed that January of 2014. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. I appreciate that. And but it's obviously, just, this has driven you to right. be part of this cause. I think, you know, once you go through natural grieving, you kind of yeah. go, what can I do to help and make a difference? So I'm fortunate to be in this position and really just can't wait for Saturday to celebrate with our survivors and remember those who we lost. Absolutely. You know, and everybody has, it seems like, have, have a personal story. We have a coworker who battled breast cancer. I have very close friends who have as well. My mother has had some close calls. So for people who've never participated, what do you want to tell them? Well, I want to say it's a day for everyone. You can yeah. bring the children down. It's an opportunity to, to become aware of breast cancer, knowing the risk factors, understanding the disease. It's also a day to celebrate the lives that have continued to survive, as well as our memories. We really appreciate it. Again, if you'd like to sign up, you can go to Susan G. Coleman, Detroit dot org. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Show, please. I'm trying, but this cable operating system makes everything so complicated. I'm getting.